Hello, welcome back to the Bielsa Stand YouTube channel. A quick video today. Today is Wembley Day. Today is playoff final day. Championship playoff final at Wembley. Kickoff is at 3 o'clock. Leeds United versus Southampton. Leeds United in the white kit. And the whole season comes down to today. Will Leeds United get promoted and lift the playoff final trophy? Or will Southampton... Destroy Leeds United dreams after a season in the Championship that will make them stay in the Championship for another season. We'll have to wait and see. Patrick Bamford won't be making an appearance. You know what? Today could be the last time some of these players play for Leeds United, even if we go up or not. Maybe Furpo won't be here next season. If Summerfield uh, thinks that Leeds United uh, aren't aren't his level anymore because Leeds United don't go up. He may leave, so it's going to be interesting. Could Elan Meslier uh, be playing his last game? That is interesting. Obviously, we know that th this is Liam Cooper's last game, even if he plays or not. After this game, he'll no longer be a Leeds United player. So what a moment it would be for him to go out of Leeds United lifting that championship trophy. But... I don't want to see Liam Cooper in the squad today, to be honest. I don't think we should be starting Cooper. He had his goodbyes at Ellen Road when we actually beat Norwich 4 0. Now, Southampton obviously uh, had a very good game against West Brom in the second leg. At home, they beat them 3 0, was it, or 4 0, something along those lines. However, Leeds United have had an extra day rest. There's been a lot of videos online from ex players and people associated to Leeds United wishing the players good luck. Which I guess it's nice to see. Um, am I nervous? Not really. To be fair, even if we do get promoted and uh, play in the Premier League next season, I think it's going to be tough. I think we'll be in a relegation battle as things stand with our squad and manager. However, if we do stay in the Championship next season, I think we'll be in the playoffs or possibly get automatic promotion. So it's not like... We haven't been promoted before and have experienced the Premier League. I think if we were still in the Championship after 18, 19 years and we never were up to the Premier League, obviously I'd be much more nervous. But the fact is, um, we're in a better position for most Championship squads, right? So even if we don't go up this season, hopefully we'll be battling next season. Let's not uh, hope what happened last time when we reached the Championship playoff final against Watford, obviously... Watford beat us on that day, 3-0 in Wales, Cardiff at Manelium Stadium, and then the next season we got relegated to League One. Let's hope that doesn't happen. However, the circumstances were very different then regarding the financials with Leeds United and all this kind of stuff. And I think Leeds United were in a stable condition back then. However, we are in a much better position. I think the 49ers are better, better owners than the owners back then. So, I mean... um. I'm confident that even if we don't go up, right, we'll do okay next season. We'll hopefully be in the playoffs. Fark will stay. Um, a lot of these players will gain experience. Think about Bielsa first season. We didn't go up um, the first time of asking. Those players gained experience of a pressure moment, especially at the back end of the season. And then the next season we went up and we had that momentum going into the Premier League. So... Yes, it's a big match. Yes, I guess um, it's huge potentially going back to the Premier League. But I wouldn't be disappointed either way. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to be like really upset if we don't go up because I'm confident in this team. I'm confident in the club that will do OK next season and that will be up there, as I say, next season. However, even if we do go up to the Premier League, yes, it's going to be great, but then... Knowing our fans next season will be losing and our fans will hate the Premier League and want to be back in the Championship. Remember when we were in the Premier League, especially the last couple of seasons when we were there, a lot of fans were saying, oh, the Championship's better, at least we win games in the Championship. Um, and people say the Premier League isn't all that. If you're not a top six team or top eight team or whatever in the Premier League. It's kind of rubbish, isn't it? You're basically fighting relegation or mid-table. At least this season's been exciting. We've been going for automatics. We've got the playoffs and all that kind of stuff. We've got that drama and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, um, regarding the lineup, 
I expect Meslier to start. I haven't read press uh, Farkas press conference from a couple of days ago, so I don't know who's injured. I know Bamford's injured. Um, so hopefully we'll see the likes of Ethan Ampadu, Rodon, if they're fit. Gray will probably play right back. It'll probably be a very similar team, as we all know. Left back will see Furpo. Midfield will probably see Kamara. And uh, Gruev attacking options will see Perot, Rutter, Somerville, Nanta, I reckon. Um, yeah, actually, I think everyone's back. I think Dan James is even back. I think Patrick Bamford is the only one injured possibly for this game. But, I mean... It's nice to see Luke Ayling at Wembley. He, uh, he's there supporting the lads. And it's interesting because Sam Greenwood's gone on holiday. Even though he's still under Leeds United contract, he's not supporting the lads at Wembley. So that's kind of interesting. However, obviously, Luke Ayling has been at Leeds for a longer time. And he's probably um, got a deep connection to the club from Sam Greenwood. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. Farker, um, as I say... If we stay in the Championship next season, keep Farker. If we're in the Premier League, I suppose give him time. But I don't think he's a manager uh, for a good Premier League side, to be honest. Um, he's done fantastically well this season under the circumstances, especially on how it was last summer and how he started the season. So I have to give credit to that. Um, but yeah, what do you think is going to happen today in the playoff final? My prediction is, so obviously a, a few weeks ago I thought, nah, Leeds United will probably get to the playoffs against Southampton and will lose. Um, I am fairly confident in the boys. I think how we played against Norwich at home, I thought we did fantastically. So if we can perform and turn up like that, I don't think Southampton have a chance. It depends what Leeds United turn up. If it's the Leeds United that turn up with are nervous near the back end of the games of the season, then I think Southampton will win. Um, obviously, both teams won't want to make mistakes. It's probably going to be like that first leg against Norwich where it's going to be cagey and uh, very de defensive. Um, I don't really like Russell Martin, so it'd be funny to see his face when Leeds United do go up. But, I mean, I'm going for... I think it'd be... Extra time. I think a lot of these playoff finals have gone to penalties. I know Huddersfield got up through penalties. I think Luton last season played against Coventry. They got promoted through penalties. So, I mean, a lot of these teams do go to penalties. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to penalties. Then it's 50-50. Now, Leeds United aren't really that good at penalties. Aren't really that good at Wembley overall. I mean, obviously, the last time we won at Wembley, I think, was 96 or maybe 92, I think it was 96, I know 92, we were also in Wembley, but the fact is though, um, with this squad, we saw against Salford, right at the beginning of the season, in the EFL Cup at penalties, we didn't turn up, um, so that's going to be interesting, I think it's going to be a very interesting game to be fair, I think Leeds United are definitely favourites as I say, Regarding um, penalties, let's hope that Leeds United can turn up. I think it'll either go to penalties 50-50. I think maybe, who knows, Southampton might win on penalties. But if it doesn't go to penalties, I think Leeds United will win at extra time 1-0. So that's my kind of prediction. Obviously, Leeds United have been at Wembley before. In the three playoff finals, I think, in the last 20 years or so. Obviously, we lost against uh, Doncaster in one, in League One. And then the other one was at Millwall somewhere. And then, obviously, uh, we against Watford. But that wasn't at Wembley. That was still a playoff game. But at least we didn't get knocked out in the semi-finals like we did against Derby. Let's hope the boys turn up. Let's hope that Farker gets these boys winning this game as I say it'd be nice to go up but if we stay in the championship I wouldn't be that bothered um as I say I mean like if it was that 20 year period where we hadn't been in the Premier League I would be like yeah I want to go back and all this kind of stuff and like it'd be more more nerve-wracking but the fact is like I think we're in a good position we've been in the Premier League we're a top championship side and uh, and as I say 
if not this season, I said at the beginning of the season we'll probably get playoffs and then lose. Uh, and then I thought the season after that will really push for promotion. But yeah, I mean, at the beginning of the season, I, w I would have given playoff final. But yeah, under a couple of hours to go. What are your predictions? Um, are you wanting these to go up? And all that kind of stuff. Remember to let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe and check us out on social media.